the shocking turn of events in the Aubrey Trail trial. Trail takes the stand, recanting his entire story of how Sidney Loof died. Yeah, it was Trail's first appearance in court since he slashed his neck two weeks ago. KATV News Watch Evans' Andrew Ozaki has tonight's big story. But first, we do want to warn you, some of the material in the case may not be suitable for younger audiences. Shackled in handcuffs and with visible marks on the right side of his neck, Aubrey Trail appears in court for the first time since his outburst two weeks ago. Against his attorney's advice, he took the stand and said the story he told to investigators and his own attorneys was a lie. It was only me, Bailey, and Sidney there the night Sidney died. And uh, I'll get into how it happened, I guess. But, but no, there was no two other girls there. There was no sexual fantasy. There was no... $15,000 paid for a sexual fantasy. Prosecutors believe Trail and Bailey Boswell lured 24-year-old Sidney Loof on a tender date in November of 2017, killed her and disposed of her dismembered body in fields in Clay County. Trail also says they knew Loof months before the tender date and they were trying to get her to come back to their group by offering her help financially. Trail still maintains Loof died accidentally during rough sex. I mean, I am the one that caused Sidney's death. I mean, I'm the one that Choke Sydney. As her trails claim he had a deeper relationship with Loof, two employees of the Grand Weaver Hotel in Fall City previously testified they saw Loof with Trail in Boswell in the late spring or summer of 2017. How certain are you that it was Sydney Loof that you saw? 100%. When asked why the jury should believe him now after so many lies, I don't really care what you believe. I mean, this is what happened. Uh, can nothing change that? I can't bring Sydney Loof back. I killed her. I mean, I didn't mean to, but I did. In Wilbur, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7. Closing arguments are scheduled for tomorrow. The jury was told to pack for at least two days because they will be isolated during deliberations. Stick with KETV on air and online for any updates in the trial.